So we're here with the director of the Zelinsky Institute. So thank you so much for your time and for hosting me here today. You're very welcome. So if you could just tell us briefly about uh, the Institute and its history and some of the, the great uh, chemistry that's happened here. Yes, yes. So our Institute is one of the oldest institutes of Russian Academy of Sciences. And uh, it was founded in 1934, just at the time when the Academy of Sciences has moved from Leningrad to Moscow and the several new institutes appeared as a result. So this institute has a great tradition from the very first day of his creation because the base of this institute uh, was made by four famous scientists. This is a Zelinsky uh, scientific school from Moscow and the Chichibabin uh, scientific school from Moscow and the two scientific schools from Leningrad, uh, Professor uh, Favorsky and Professor Ipatiev. So the best organic chemistry chemist of that time has been worked at our institute. And uh, traditionally this institute has three main points of interest. Since Zelinsky was, as we said, the father of organic catalysis, uh, the orga catalysis in organic chemistry was typically very good uh, developed in our institute. Actually, all kinds of catalysis, heterogeneous, homogeneous, mostly heterogeneous. The second direction uh, of the activity of this institute is related to the fine organic synthesis. Mm -hmm. This is, a, first of all, uh, the chemistry of unsaturated compounds. Pavorsky, the father of uh, acetylene chemistry, so the tradition, this tradition is still very active in uh, our institute. And, for example, Valentina Nanikov is continuous uh, the studies of the acetylene chemistry. And uh, the third dire direction is related to the bioorganic chemistry. So it's mostly related to the chemistry of natural products and especially chemistry of carbohydrates. And uh, very famous Russian, but even not Russian, uh, scientist, uh, Professor Kochetkov, he was a father of uh, carbohydrate chemistry in Russia. He was worked in this institute. This institute grows very rapidly and uh, by the beginning of perestroika we have about 1,000 uh, wow. research staff and about 300 uh, technicians. Now we uh, considerably less, we have about 500, uh, 550 research, uh, total staff. But this is a very qualified staff because we have about uh, 230 candidates of sciences, which equal to PhD, mm -hmm. about uh, 80 professors, doctor of sciences. Uh, in our institute works 11 members of Russian Academy of Sciences, so the concentration is very <laughs> high. And uh, I would say we had very great directors. The first director was Professor uh, Favorsky. He was director from 1934 till 1939. Since 1939, Professor Nesmiyanov became the director of our institute. He was director till 1954. He was a real great man, great uh, chemist, and great uh, organizer of our uh, sciences mm -hmm. because being our director, he simultaneously was the rector of Moscow State University and uh, the president of Academy of Sciences of the USSR. So, so thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>